hello, hello, and welcome to today's 11 plus exam prep lesson. We say a shape has been reflected when all of its elements have been flipped across a mirror line. So mirror lines can be either vertical, so straight up and down, horizontal, think about the word horizon, if you struggle to remember that one, or mirror lines can be diagonal. Watch out because horizontal reflections and 180 degree rotations look very, very similar. So have a look at this image here. Can you spot the difference? In the rotation, the arrow goes from being on the left to being on the right. Whereas in this reflection, it stays on the left. The arrow will only stay on the left with a reflection. No, ref no rotation would make this possible. So watch out for things like this. Moving on to our method now. Number one, read the question carefully. That's sort of maybe step zero. And then you need to identify elements of the main shape. So once again, think about color, shape, number, patterns, positioning. Then eliminate any obviously wrong answers. So things are missing elements or maybe the wrong element. Then imagine reflecting the main shape and then compare whatever you visualize to the remaining answer options. With this in mind, let's do a little walkthrough. If you're feeling confident, shout out in the Q&A what you think the answer is, but let's apply our method. So we need to choose the answer option, which is a reflection of the main shape. So first off, let's identify the elements of the main shape. We have a squiggly line made up with four bends and three small black circles. So let's start by eliminating some obviously wrong answers. So we've gotten rid of options D and E, why? Well, if we look at E, we can see that the line only has three bends, whereas the line in the main shape has four. Next, if we look at D, we can see it's actually a rotation of the main shape. It has been rotated bloop, rather than reflected. So we can also rule out D. Now, let's try and reflect our main shape in our heads. Option B might look like it could be a reflection, but it's actually 180 degrees rotation of the main shape. So watch out for that. And then if we look closely at C, we can see that the circles are in the wrong position. So the top and bottom circles are in the wrong place. So we can rule out C. This leaves us with A. Uh, it has been reflected across a vertical line. So across a line that goes down like that. If I were straight. Let's try a practice question just for you guys now. Here is your question. Which of these options shows a reflection of the main shape across a diagonal line? So we have our mirror line. Now let's identify the elements of the main shape. There are five main shapes, one of them is a circle. We've got a long rectangle with a triangle and a line placed on top of it, and then a blue square in the top corner. If we have a quick look, can we spot any obviously wrong answers? Why, yes, we can. So in E, the triangle and the square are in the wrong colors. So you can immediately rule it out. The colors should be swapped. So E, mm -mm, not our answer. Now let's try reflecting the main shape in our mind. Does it match up with what we might expect? Hmm. It seems like E and C do not quite match up with what we are looking for. And this is because they are rotations rather than reflections. So B is a 90 degrees clockwise rotation rather than a reflection. So it's been 
rotated like this, whereas C over here is a 90 degrees anti-clockwise rotation. So it has been rotated this way, 90 degrees. They're also incorrect, so we can rule them out like this. Finally, we're left with A and D. We should do a little bit of an in-depth comparison. So get those out of the way and have a think about A and D. So when we reflect a shape across a mirror line, what we're actually doing is drawing a perpendicular line from every element of the shape to the mirror line and then duplicating that line and that element in the opposite direction. If that's not really clear, have a look at this image. So we can see that we have our mirror line here and what we've done is reflected every shape across this mirror line, duplicating the distances of each point across the line. That means that we can rule out answer option D because the triangle should not be facing this way, it should actually be like it is in A. That is the end of our reflections practice slash learning. We're now gonna jump on over to Nucleus to try a few questions over there. For our very first question in Nucleus, choose the image, which is a reflection of the main image across a vertical line. If you're unsure about what a vertical line is, I'll give you a little hint. So it could be like that, or it could be on the other side. And here are our results. The most popular answer was C, let's take a little look. And C is absolutely right, well done. So if we look at this image at the bottom, it claims it's a swan. There we go, not a duck at all. We can see our vertical line, our vertical mirror line in the dot, 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 dots. And we can see that our original image is the one on the left. And if we reflect it vertically, so starting like this, reflect it over here, we are left with answer option C. Yeah. <laughs>